Hey, welcome back to my channel, Disco, and we're playing some more Pokemon Violet and Nintendo Switch. There's another Nuzlocke episode, although I think we're pretty much done with Nuzlocke, so this is just a soft lock, I guess, or more of a regular gameplay. Anyways, we're chasing after Nimona. So, Nimona's currently cursed and possessed by the Mochi Mochi. We're going to head over to Kitakami Hall, where, if I remember correctly, from um, Pokemon Scarlet with Aki. We battle Kieran's grandparents. So we're going to battle his grandparents. And we're going to try and get Nimona back. So this is part two. We're going to be finishing on off the prologue. Or epilogue. Epilogue will be the correct term. Yeah. So we're going to be finishing off the epilogue. We found the grandparents of uh, Kieran and Carmen. Okay. They're still normal people. So they are not, they're not possessed or cursed yet. Or possessed by the Mochi Mochi. I can't remember what the Mochi Mochi Pokemon is called. But yeah. They're still normal. So they're fine. But how did they get possessed again? Was it? I don't know. Uh, she's really loud and full of energy. We're looking for Nimona. Oh, I'm hitting B instead of A. Right. Have you seen Nimona? Mm hmm. Oh, right. Somehow she has Mochi. And she's now possessed. Okay. That's a little bit creepy. Where did she even get this? Why would you eat it? Oh, dear. Oh. That's quite instant. Alright, here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, Kieran's parent wasn't that uh, grandparents wasn't that difficult to defeat, so this should be a pretty smooth battle. Nimona was a challenge, and I guess battling the Mochi Pokemon. All right, here we go. Hideko and Yukito. Fair enough. Grandma Hidiko and Yukito. Abra and okay. That's going to be interesting. An interesting match. Right, I guess we'll intimidate. Okay. No, we're going to use Night Slash. This will take care of Chandelier. Uh, okay, never mind. We did not one-shot it. Okay, Hideko looks a little bit upset about us. Okay, belly drum. Okay, cutting your health in half is not going to help us. Whose side are you on? Okay, energy ball. There we go. Kieran made a mistake. What's I hear? A monkey. Oh, Screech. Man, you're just really... Yeah, okay. Hydra Apple. Strongelia's evasiveness has gone down. Uh, let's do... Night Slash. That's good. Dunk shot. Okay, Hydra Apple's taking a pretty big chunk of health. Though, nice counter with the Earth Power. So, Arbok's down. They should still have more... more to go. I think at least one more partner each. Mama Swine, okay. And Wheezing. Probably gonna try and hit us with Earth Power, Earthquake, or something. Alright. Uh, let's terrestrialize and just power up. I want to take down the Mama Swine. Uh, 
I'll probably have a type of advantage over us, though. That's not going to be good, but I reckon we can do this. Okay, that's a fair shot. Earthquake. Right, Kiriko went down in one shot. But, we're no longer treating this as a Nuzlocke. I, it, there wasn't much point. It was getting to a point where we're just not going to replenish our Pokemon, so it's just going to lead to a defeat or whatever. Uh, yeah, I, hmm. Anyways, now it's down. Let's go now, who are we going to send in to deal with Wheezy? Okay, Hydro, Hydro Apple is badly poisoned. Um, we don't have anything that's super effective against against Poison type. Uh, we're going to send in Caliburn. We've got a relatively dragon team. Alright, we're going to Icicle Crash. Okay, that's half its health. Fickle Bean. Going all out. All its heads. Nice. Weezing's down. Alright, how are we doing? Eat Mochi? No. We're going to avoid eating Mochi. Now then, what are we going to do with Kiwi's grandparents? Yeah, you lost everyone. It's only a matter of time until it gets you. Uh, calm down. It's nice seeing Kirin being like this. It's a little bit in between his very timid and shy self and his try-hard emo self. He's a little bit more outgoing. He, he's, he's a little bit more open. How are you two? Okay. Penny's... Yeah, okay. Penny's probably freaking out, yeah. Something's there, okay. Right, they, they, they're done for. Uh-oh. Boop, boop, boop. Alright, time to help them. They seem very dejected. <laughs> right, let's head back and help the others. Uh, but we can find the Mona later. Right, we flew back to town on uh, Future Toothless, Miraidon, and we're with... Penny and Arvin, who are currently fine for now, but that's soon about to change. Yeah, okay, yeah. The weird thing. The round little purple Pokemon. Purple pink? Pink purple? It's kind of in between. Magenta, I guess? I, I don't know. Would magenta be the right color? I'm not sure. All right, there we go. There's the mystery Pokemon. Okay. Everything's a Pokemon. Of course it's a Pokemon. Oh. Why would you open your mouth? Okay, we dodged it last second. Kieran just headbutts it out of surprise. Hmm. Kind of sweet. She likes it. Yeah, don't eat those. You're going to be cursed. You've been cursed. It's too late. They're gone. Two more people have joined the Mochi army. Alright, there we go. Let's, let's have Rotom record this. I'm, I'm pretty certain Penny will enjoy watching this video later. We're going to choose Penny because it's Penny. All right, okay. 
Right. If, uh, if I'm going to save anybody, I'm, I'm definitely going to choose Penny over Arvin. But they're both gone. Alright, this should be a pretty decent battle, although I don't know if Kiriko was revived. I, I doubt it. But we shall see. Okay. This should be interesting. Uh, Kiriko is revived. Which is good. Right, we're just going to trust lies. It's not going to have effect on either of them. We're going to go for Umbreon. I reckon we'll probably do more damage to Umbreon. Right. Oh, he giving me some creepy vibes. Just the way that he was moving and speaking just now. Dark Pulse. Alright, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I thought I terrestrialized. They didn't terrestrialize. Cloister. Okay. Again, that's gonna be tricky. Uh, let's use... Phantom Force. This will allow us to fade some moves. And those that get in. Alright, Umbreon down. That's good. Okay. It sounds like Eevee, but I'm not too sure. Okay, avoided the attack. Sent out Slivian. Phantom Force. Alright, Cloisters down. That's a lot of close combat you're using, Kieran. That's going to hurt you. Moonblast. There we go. Polyrath has finally gone down. Are they using three Pokemon each? I think they're using three Pokemon each. Polygon said. Oh, okay, that's Kirin. My bow stiff. Okay. Um, how should we do this one? Right, we may as well terrestrialize. We're going to. To Phantom Blade. Phantom Blade. Bitter Blade. Man, Phantom Blade will be a cool move, but... <laughs> yeah, I meant Bitter Blade. Here we go. Stellar type. Okay, Slivian's down. That's a nice one shot. Porygon said it's lost some health. Mochi! Okay, that's a <laughs> creepy grin. Bitter Blade. Half the health. Well, at least it's going to keep us in full health. Or near full health. But we have recovered a little bit. Crunch! Okay, that's going to hurt. Leafeon. Right, we need to get rid of Maboshtev first. Porygon said needs to recharge after all. Are you kidding me? Right. I know why. Leaf Blade. Okay. 
Because Stellar types, the power boost is only once per move. Yeah, I, I need to get used to using Stellar types. At this point, we may as well just stay the fire type. Right, we're going to send in Momo. Momo will be able to take care of this. Right. I'm going to use Thunder Punch. Right, you're just stealing my kill. Why would you do that? Right, that does nothing. Although it did paralyze, so I guess that did something. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is taking longer than I expected. Incineroar. Intimidate. Alright, we're going to hit it with Ice Punch. Baby doll eyes. Nice. Flare Blitz. Finally. Okay, we've taken care of Leafeon. So both Arvin and uh, Penny. The Possessed Penny and Arvin are taken care of. And I'm sorry about the uh, pop I just did. But they're both taken care of. So that's a good, that's a good news. Okay, uh, I just noticed that the uh, mochi is drifting off screen. Oh, yeah, no, there we go. Just trying to escape. Oh, well, he's quite a speedy little guy. Um, we should chase after Kieran. Okay, so we we went to the shrine. I guess shrine. The old monument where the where the free trio like the pesky free were originally buried. So I reckon we'll probably uh, find them here. Well, yeah, we're gonna find obsessed Nimona. So this is going to be the challenging battle. Yeah, mochi mochi. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to deal with them. Okay. And here comes the town. Yeah. The obsessed town is about to attack us. What are we going to do? Yeah, okay. This is going to be uh, a challenge. Right, so I'm going to take care of Nimona, well Uni's going to take care of Nimona, whilst Kieran's going to take care of the angry mob. Okay, Possess Nimona is going to be pretty powerful. What was it a fighting type? I, it's been so long since I last fought her. Okay, Aqua Step. I. Ooh. Right, nice. What are you gonna do? Aqua Step. Oh, one shot? Are oh, you kidding me? Okay. Okay, attempt number two. Uh, yeah. Nimona's horribly powerful. And this is one of the things I don't like about Nuzlocke is that you can't really... When you restrict yourself too much, you can't really have fun with building teams. Yes, it's challenging, but it's just not, it just feels like... a unnecessary burden. You can't really build a competitive team. Um, 
Okay. Now, how are we going to take care of Lycan Rock? Lycan Rock is going to be a problem. We're going to send in Medusa. We're going to be more tactical. Second time round. Okay. So, Lycan Rock is first up. We're going to send in Medusa. We're going to take advantage of the uh, typing advantages. Uh, okay, grass type versus rock type. Yeah, okay. Um, we're going to use Gudre. Okay, that's a fair bit of damage. Okay, jeez, those are giving me creeps. Right, our health has gone up. Yeah, oh, oof, that's good. I, I need to take this a lot more seriously than I did before. I can't believe Nimona is still so stupidly strong. Okay, Gudra is out. Uh, we're going to use Fickle Beam. Ice Beam, okay, yeah. Falling for the sack. Oh no, we survived. That's good. Fickle Beam, all out for this attack. Let's go. Gudra's down. Good, we're gonna switch out. I'm, I'm surprised Medusa survived that. Fine. Uh, we're gonna send in Kiriko. I think Kiriko will be, will be fine. This is certainly a challenge. Pormont, I have nothing against Pormont. We don't even have a fine in tight, now that I think about it. Okay, pointed stones. Stealth Rock is in action. Bitter Blade. Nice. Okay, we recovered our health. Double Shock. We're gonna lose the uh, electric typing. All right. Pormont is back to being Pormont. Well, fighting type. I don't. That didn't make sense. Palma just became Palma. Yeah, it just became a fighting type. It lost its electricity. All right, come on. Uh, dragon fighting. We'll send in Feldora. I think Feldora should be able to take care of this. Right, Feldora's in. Come on. So this is her fourth? Yeah, her fourth Pokemon. Dragon Pulse. Well, first. Nice. Drain Punch. That's going to recover a bit, but not enough. Right, and being a lot more tactical with this. Right, come on, it's down. Right, that's good. Ribbon B. Right, I'm going to send in Kiriko for this. Right, Kiriko. Ribbon B. Her fifth. Now, we should be able to just take it down with Bitter Blade. Psychic. Okay, that's going to... Do some damage, but not enough to take out Kiriko. This is going a lot more quicker, and this is because I'm taking it a lot more seriously. <laughs> right, good. Kukorval. All right, here comes Momo. And now that I think about it, it goes fighting type over rather than electric type. So we could be in trouble here. But we should be fine. Thunder Punch. We need Aerial Ace. We need we need to teach a flying type move to one of my Pokemon. Okay. The Fighting Corval. Dancing Duck has become a Fighting Duck. Man, this is... A challenge, okay. Thunder Punch. 
Probably going to try Aqua Step. Uh, okay, we survived that. That's fine. We'll do another Thunder Punch. Oh no, it's fast. We'll send in Ebby. We have Storm Drain. <laughs> so Aqua Step will not work. Uh, we're going to Terrestrialize. Then that way, the fighting type moves don't work. We're going to hit it with Dragon Pulse. So we sealed off all its water type move, and the fighting type moves will be type disadvantage. Go, Sushi! Brick break. Not going to be effective. Doesn't affect us. Dragon Pulse. Good. Now what are you going to do? Are you going to do liquidation? Aqua break? Chilling water. Yeah, there we go. Storm drain. Nice. Ultimate insult to the dancing water duck. Alright, and we're done. She looks... she looks happy. Alright, now we're gonna have to deal with the... Legendary Mochi. Maybe I should have recovered my team, but I think we're fine. We just have to capture it. Yeah, let's let's challenge it. Hope this was a mistake, but we shall see soon. Right, Kiriko. I should have saved. Petchant. Petchant. Okay. Let's go. I should have saved and I should have recovered. But we're going to terrestrialize. And just hit it with Bitter Blade. Oh no. What have I done? I'd, I'd like the beat though. Good background music. Nice. Recover. Not a lot, but that's fine. Will we go with... Okay, Shadow Ball. That's gonna hurt us a little bit. Four. Right, we're gonna Phantom Force. Shadow Ball, that's gonna miss. Get it. Phantom Force. Nice. Toxic. Right. Uh, poison Puppeteer. What does that do? Became confused. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous, but... Yeah, you can't hold out much longer. I'm in trouble as well, but I think we'll be fine. We're going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to full restore. But I guess we did suffer a wipeout then in this Nuzlocke. Against Nimona. Although I do admit I was not taking this as seriously as I should have. Ouch. That hurts. Uh, Night Slash. Let's go. Dark type. Nice. That health is low. Nasty plot. Okay. Shadow sneak. 
Petra is down. Right, time to capture it. All right, we're going to catch it in a Pokeball. Regular Pokeball, or should we go fancy? We're going to go fancy. Let's go with Luxury Ball, because that's what we've been mainly using in this playthrough. So, yeah. Boink, boink, and captured. Amazing, we've done it. All right, so we call Petrant the Subjugation Pokemon, which looks like a legendary Petra Berry. All right, and it's been added. All right, there we go. And everybody else should be returning back to normal now that Petrant is has been captured. How did you learn, end up in Loyalty Plaza? Well, yeah. A lot happened, but we managed to beat them. Man, Kieran and Uni look like they're a couple. But I don't know. Yeah, so every, this, every, this is what happened. Pretty crazy. You should see the video of of yourself dancing, Penny. We, I'm pretty certain Roton would have uh, captured it on camera. Now we just need to check up on Nimona. The most problematic of that all. Yet she's still possessed by Mochi. How are you doing? Mochi match. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. She's back to normal. <laughs> She's scary, normal, or possess. That yeah, was a good dream. And Carmen's back to normal. Everybody's back to normal now. We saved you and the whole town. This was a good ending. And that's it. That's the end of the epilogue. No, the maybe not. I signed off way too early. Yeah, okay. Head home to Paldea. Alright. Alright, time for us to head home. But you know, we'll, we'll always come and visit. You two have grown on me. And I'm sure these three words have come along. They enjoyed themselves. We had a pretty crazy uh, event. Yeah, we battle a lot. The Mona Survivors Club. You're happy to have some friends. Yep, do your best. You got this. Champion of Blueberry League. Vacation's finally over. Alright. Mm hmm. Looks like Carmen's the number one of, with big personality. Yep. What do you mean by big personality? You have a big personality. A rather strange one, too. And that's the end of Mochi Mochi Mayhem. I hope you guys enjoyed the content so far. Remember like, subscribe, drop any comments in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon, or whatever game that comes out. Probably said, eh? I'll see you guys then. Hey, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think. It really does help me out. If you haven't already done so, you can also hit the bell icon and turn on notifications. That way you'll get updates for when I upload my new videos or follow me on Twitter at Kuroaki Games. I'm also on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Kuroaki Games where I occasionally stream my raw gameplay videos on there or some content that isn't on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Kuroaki Games and I will see you guys soon.